Good day and welcome to a new video. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Hey oh, and welcome today. Uh, today Hi. you can see me painting a bit of page eight, and also today I have in uh, Marco Torres. And let me get <laughs> on the line for a second there. Yep. Um, yeah, so you can see his work at Marco Torres. Um, at station.com link will be in the description if you want to see more um, yeah so tell me a bit about yourself uh, so hey everyone uh, I'm Marcos uh, Marco I don't know uh, people <laughs> can uh, say it uh, multiple ways and uh, so I'm doing fine here uh, I actually had a vacation here in Brazil uh, for a couple of I'm back to work on next Tuesday ah. uh, but it's all fine you know it's summer here <laughs> I, I mean uh, in, it, you guys live in New Zealand right yeah I live in New Zealand yeah uh, so it's summer already there too mm, yes right? it is summer <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we've we've had like funny summers lately. Um, you know, it been hot patches for a while, and then it kind of goes back to kind of kind of autumn-like weather in a way. Um, so it's quite funny. <laughs> yeah, here we kind of have the always the same time of summer. You know, that uh, hot as hell summer, mm. <laughs> like you. You just like to crawl under a rock and <laughs> stay there because it's so hot outside, you know, you mm. don't want to do nothing. Mm. Do you have like, uh, but, do you have like rivers and things and pools you go to? You mean uh, uh, going uh, to the beach, this yeah. kind of place? Yeah, yeah, I'm at to, I'm to the beach right now. Uh, we don't have uh, at the place we li I live here in Brazil. I live like uh, in Porto Alegre, that's South Brazil. Uh, we don't have the best beats in, in our country. You know, mm. at Brazil you have like uh, Salvador, Rio de Janeiro, uh, Florianópolis, Angra dos Reis. That's other beaches that are way more uh, beautiful and famous than the beaches here at uh, my state, you know. Uh, mostly because they are like, um, how can I say it, uh, ugly sea beaches. <laughs> how can I? <laughs> yeah, you know, yeah. that kind of sea with mm. just uh, dirty uh, water, not because it's polluted, but because of the waves, I don't know. Mm. But it's not that uh, pretty, you know, but uh, it got, gets bad, uh, how can I say? Uh, yeah. It can get really uh, crowded uh, at this uh, time of the year. Hmm. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, in summer they do, eh? <laughs> <laughs> hmm. It's like almost no when they're at like winter when it's raining. It's funny. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, awesome. So, um, do you, are you mostly an art director? Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, I kind of, uh, how can I say it? Uh, I started out uh, doing advertisement work uh, in my college years. Uh, because, you know, uh, at least here, we don't have, we don't have this kind of uh, information about the illustration, art, career, you know. And uh, when I started out, uh, I didn't know really actually what uh, to do with my life. At uh, first I wanted to be a musician, but you know, musicians <laughs> nowadays are really on a, how can I say it, uh, to a rough path, you know. It's really hard to be a musician nowadays. Mm -hmm. And that started out uh, like, uh, there in 2000 when you know you got this uh, download uh, service like Napster, uh, Kazaa, LimeWire, 
I don't know how to mm. say that. Yeah, yeah. And uh, you know, started that whole uh, music revolution. And uh, I remember back then that I, I was a teenager and I wanted to be a musician, but at the same time I was really afraid of this kind of uh, change, you know, into the old form of having a a label and making records and you know that stuff and also the type of music that, that I like to play was rock and here in Brazil unfortunately rock is not the most uh, uh, liked type of music you know right. here we like more like uh, funk carioca I would say or nowadays rap mm. uh, unfortunately it's not uh, it was never rock. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> so anyway, I asked the, my parents, uh, what should I do, you know? And they didn't know anything about art or things like that. Uh, they are like uh, physicians. Mm -hmm. And so they thought like I should go something by advertisement uh, or how can I say, uh, be a journalist. I don't know if journalists are the right, uh, how can I say, uh, is the right name for this, you know, working with news. Ah, oh, yeah, yeah, uh, no, that's journalist, yeah. Yeah, journalist, mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. Anyway, they said to me, well, uh, why don't you go around these kind of things? And so I started uh, doing and working with ads, uh, when I was like uh, eight, 18. Uh, and then I discovered the world of design and I, <laughs> I mostly tried to work more uh, towards like uh, art direction because it, it was way more close to the artist, you know? Mm -hmm. But at the same time, I wasn't doing the illustration or the nice part uh, that was like I used to call it. Uh, I was more into the part of uh, making the whole layout, the things, you know. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and for some time, it was like that, you know. I had to do that for like uh, almost uh, five to six, six years. But uh, at the same time, I was trying to be an illustrator doing. Uh, illustration for friends, uh, mm -hmm. for bands, parties, and this kind of stuff. But as you know, I, I was starting out uh, at illustration, and so things were not that good, you know. <laughs> but these things uh, take time, you know. Mm -hmm. They are not like, uh, you can just start out and think, you know, I'm going to be the best illustrator uh, tomorrow. Mm -hmm. This really was uh, looking back now was really a, a, a decision that took me at least 10 years to get to a better place. You know? mm. So it, it got some really mm. rough years and a lot of doubts and a lot of things that, how can I say, uh, uh, were not easy. Most of the time I really wanted to give up, you know. Mm. Definitely. I think it happens to us all, you know, even for me, I, I you okay. know, there are times that I've wanted to give up, but um, these days, I, you know, I, I don't have that mm -hmm. as much because I just keep keep drawing and keep creating. I always want to, you know, create something new and see what's next. Yeah, uh, I think that's one of the hardest parts when you're trying to make art. It's... Uh, it's kind of doubt uh, if you're doing the right thing, you know, like, uh, is this uh, a thing that could be considered something, you know, good or something valid, you know? Mm. This is not just a, a child drawing. <laughs> mm -hmm. you, you got so much into this kind of discussions in your head, like, uh, like uh, how they say it's like an imposter syndrome, you know? Mm. One day, people will figure out that I don't know anything, you know, I'm just a fake. <laughs> yeah. I, everyone's just, you know, another artist, 
it's just another person really like you know your favorite singer your favorite artists um they're all just another person you know that have figured something out for themselves in a way yeah um uh, i think this happened to you too or maybe uh, be happening right now but uh i don't know tell me about it um what's that <laughs> Uh, yeah, um, yeah. At the moment, you know, I'm just kind of painting along, getting. I've created a book at the moment, um, yeah. so you know that's that's slowly go along. It's it's been uh, over a year, I think, um, that I've a year and a bit that I've actually been painting the book. Um, obviously, I've had a little bit of side projects, um, but. Mm -hmm this has been the main focus you know um so i'm surprised it's taking me so long because you know every couple of months go by and it's like oh in the next six months i'm going to get this book finished um and yeah but it's all good because i know that i'm taking my time with it i'm not kind of you know um rushing it too much that you know when i actually get the book kind of printed for myself um mm -hmm. and get it to kind of the final stage that it's gonna have lots and lots of errors or um, painting mistakes or things that when i print it i'm gonna be like oh no this this didn't work out at all um yeah uh i sorry i didn't know but uh, what kind of book is this uh so it's a children's book that i'm creating um it's about this yeah. There's nice. about this um, hedgehog uh, who tries to get his kiwi fruit, but there um, is a cat in the way, and there's, he goes through a few um, tricks to try and get his kiwi fruit. Um, yeah. <laughs> and I don't know. Did you have a, like a a deadline in mind? Most. I mean, uh, we always have like a deadline. Most of the time, we never reach that. It's really normal, I know. A deadline, did you say? Yeah, a deadline. Yeah, like when I started, I I thought that, or oh, you know, give it six months and it'll be finished. Um, mm -hmm. so that's kind of was the deadline. But I mean, things happen. Um, I mean, I don't have all the time in the world I only have like okay. um two hours at night to do this and then some time on the weekend so I don't you know don't have um you know a whole week to do it so yeah. you know it, it's going to be pushed back a little bit obviously because of that yeah um but yeah it's funny when uh, you get when you get to a deadline and you're like oh you know it's not finished yet and then you know, is it is it actually going anywhere? Um, but for me, it is. You know, it's steadily it's steadily going, and that's the thing. You know, and not I'm just steadily going. Um, yeah, getting it done slowly. <laughs> it's taking its time, but it's I think <laughs> because it's taken some time, it's worth the final result. It's just waiting on and you know keeping on going. Um, is a little bit of a challenge sometimes, but if I keep on going, I know at the end of it all, you know, there's going to be that final result of having this book that I've finished. Yeah, and uh, one thing that I always thought about uh, the whole process of having uh, like a long project mm. uh, going on, it's that uh, when you really finish that, you got like a like. I think the space, how can I say, it's almost like a, a depressive state, you know, because <laughs> the whole experience just ended, you know. Yeah. And, uh, this is fun, you know. Uh, I got this a lot when i doing uh, some projects, you know, for clients that got like a one month or two months so, um, on the doing. And when they end, I'm like, a, I feel like a empty i don't know how to say it like uh like something just uh lost <laughs> i don't know mm. 
yeah, it's definitely, yeah, I get that sometimes, you know, I finished a piece and it's like, you know, I was after that kind of point where I'm actually creating the piece, that's, you know, one of the best moments, and when I've actually finished the piece, it's like, I want to go back and actually draw this again. <laughs> yeah. Or keep, keep painting well, it again, you know. <laughs> I think this is like uh, they used to say that uh, you have to enjoy the process mm. uh, in the end, you know, it's not about the, the final result is more about the whole process and uh, knowing how to enjoy it and uh, this is fine because when you end it you think like oh I'll be so happy but then end it. but it's like quite the opposite you know mm. I just sit there and think well uh, what do I what I have to do next you know I gotta do something I can just mm. uh, have things finished <laughs> I have to do something more like uh, forever. I don't know. Yeah. I'll say in other terms. Exactly. I've got, um, you know, once I finish this project, um, I will delve into another project. It's, you know, it's never stopping, you know. Never. I've got to keep creating. Yeah, and, it's never um, stopping. Yeah, it's just, uh, And it's cool. Hmm. It's a good thing, I think. Uh, imagine that you just uh, end project and you never more do art that's it you know <laughs> this is my last art project like uh, you know Tarantino they, he said that he's going to do 10 movies and uh, he just released uh, this uh, last one that was his ninth yeah and so he got just one more movie to do and I <laughs> was thinking imagine uh, knowing that you just have one more uh, movie and then no more like uh, one more project and no more because you say that your whole life mm. I think I, I wouldn't uh, have the this kind of conviction no mm. well it's um oh, what's his name uh, Tis Kimuni he's um he does Ghibli Studios Ghibli Studios um, yeah, and you know he's still creating movies. You know he thought yeah um, he thought the last one I think Spirited Away. I think he said Spirited Away was going to be his last one, <laughs> and <laughs> you know he can't stop now. He's he's created some shorts. Um, he's apparently there's like two more movies in the making, is what I've heard. Um, but yeah, he's just he's a awesome character to watch. Um, so I see, I see some of his stuff. I see on YouTube. I watch a lot of those kind of things about these kind of artists and movie directors and things like that. Um, and it's it's awesome to see. You know, they're still still creating, even though he's like I think he's like in his seventies or eighties, um, mm -hmm. and he's just still drawing and. <laughs> And believe it or not, he's still smoking as well, you know? <laughs> yeah, he smokes a lot. Uh, but I think that, uh, at least for me, the best, uh, not just uh, illustrators, but I mean artists in, in general, they just keep uh, doing this till, till they die, you know? Mm. Uh, you can see, like, uh, great examples, like uh, A.J.R. Geiger, Sid Meath, uh, Frank Frazetta, uh, these guys just draw till the coffin, you know. <laughs> mm. They didn't stop, you know. They didn't uh, let anything hold them down, you know. I remember when I saw a documentary, I think it's Painting with Fire. Uh, for, that's about uh, Frank Frazetta. That uh, tells the whole story that he just went for 10 years uh, doing comics for some underground uh, uh, newspapers and from this he got a lot of experience to start painting and so he just you know exploded that whole style yeah. and like when he was in his 50 or 6 I, mean, I think he had a we call this AVC here in Brazil a, it's a vasculatory accident, you know, like a stroke. Yeah, mm. he had a stroke yeah. and had had all his 
uh, right side paralyzed, and so he had to uh, learn to draw with his left side. Mm. And this is the most incredible part of the story because uh, he kept all the things in his mind, and so the body was just like a, an instrument. And mm. so he kept having that same quality besides having to learn to draw with the left side. He could do that way better with the other side. It's actually crazy, you know, mm. because it's not just, uh, I mean, it's not just about uh, showing that all this, uh, like, uh, skill he had, but also the showing that it's more about the, how can I say, the determination, you know, mm. like the, the will to do the thing. Exactly. I think that's yeah. yeah the most important element in a way you know you can learn all there is to know about painting and things like that and you know how to paint how to create stuff um but without any like determination or you know will to drive you forward and keep you going um you'll just probably drop it and and things like that so I think that's one of the important elements yeah I think that's a uh, how can I say Yes, uh, sometimes you just get a little bit uh, motivated to do the thing. Uh, one thing that really stuck in my mind uh, in the late uh, years is that sometimes uh, having uh, the will to do, it's way more important than the technique and uh, the whole, how can I say, hard work behind because, you know, sometimes you look at some... Uh, illustrators work and you say, ah, okay, this is really polished, it's really, you know, detailed, but at the same time, they don't have, like, a soul. I, I don't know how to, to say it in the, the right way, but they don't have a, like a, yeah, like a soul. I don't have no other term to, to express it. Yeah. Well, it's something to express, eh? Like, um, they're just like another printer. Some you know, some people that's creating these magnificent pieces. <laughs> um, yeah. Yeah. Get lost in kind of just being another printer in a way sometimes, but yeah, yeah if have nothing to say with it. Um, yeah. And I'm not like this in these guys because yeah. I know this takes a lot of time and a lot of work to get into that kind of level of uh, detail and, you know, uh, skill. Uh, but, you know, like uh, nowadays, uh, you, you must already know that we have like artists that are more into a technical part, like what uh, 3D artists that are more into the texture part or into the likeness part, like trying to uh, be art engineers, how can I say it, you know, translate mm. things from real life into 3D. Yeah. Uh, they make like uh, animals uh, in perfect uh, pixel. Mm. Uh, I don't know the right term to say it. But anyway, what I'm trying to say is that uh, it's more technical, I know. It's more uh, like uh, engineering. It's not just... Uh, like uh, expressing something or being creative, uh, but at the same time, uh, it's hard to look at that and and see uh, all this uh, this creative expression. For me, sometimes it just look like uh, how mm. how do you say it for uh, like a printer, mm. <laughs> almost like a printer, almost like just a, an instrument, you know. Yeah. If we had uh, already some type of technology that could uh, uh, make these things uh, easier, like nowadays we have scanners, yeah, mm -hmm. like uh, use the scanner to get photos or the drawings to the computer. Mm -hmm. uh, I think that in the future we have like a, we have something like that, like a, uh, it's not through the scanning. I think it's there is. Photo, photogrammetry, I think it's the okay. right uh, yeah. word. You know that you use like a, it's like a 3D scanner. You yeah. just uh, put it 
the finger you want to scan with this finger around and it's mm -hmm. scanning it's, uh, all the volumes and everything to 3D. You, mm. you must have seen already that they have like 3D scans from everything nowadays, mm. like uh, trees, uh, I don't know, box people <laughs> even. Mm -hmm. um, but you know, when you just uh, reproduce through reality, it gets like a uh, kind of boring, I think. Yeah. Is that what it's? You make no connection, you know, with the piece, with with what yeah. you're creating. There's no, you know, other than it looks like um, who it is. Like if it's a 3D painting of you or 3D drawing of someone. Other than it looking like that, there, you know, there's no other connection to it. Um, sometimes, but you know, there are you know awesome artists that do do it really well. You know, they draw. You know, I've seen some of like um, Johnny Depp and all these famous people, and they look awesome and amazing, and they they work really well. Um, it's just yeah, it's awesome to see that kind of stuff. Um, yeah. Yeah, this is the thing about you know realism that I think most people don't get it, uh, and I know that. From all my point of view, it's from a point of view of uh, a person that is in this kind of business for more than a decade. But for most people and most uh, people that really are not necessarily into art, realism is better art. <laughs> and cartoon, it's bad art. It's kids drawing. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's really funny. But as you go, uh, further into this, you just kind of uh, understand that it's technically uh, the, the way around, you know? Hmm. Not that uh, Reddit can be good art, but uh, at the same time, you're not doing any type of uh, interpretation with your art style, you're just reproducing most of the times. Uh, fair, fair enough. Yeah, for for me, I I mean, I used to kind of reproduce quite a bit. Um, I was mainly, although at that stage, I was kind of focused on that. I was focused on just getting better at drawing and better at drawing things more realistically. Um, yeah. And I think a lot of artists go through that stage, you know, they go through that whole trying to draw things more realistically and trying to just... Um, draw better and better um, but then you know eventually I wanted more you know I wanted to tell stories I wanted to um, use what I've learnt from all that and expand on it you know um, yeah yeah not trying to bash on the guys that do things <laughs> in a realistic way but what I mean to say is something that you say now like a uh, when you're learning art, uh, I think it's really uh, like a, uh, a necessity that you got to, to get better, it gets uh, more real, you know, it gets more detailed and more physically uh, accurate, you know, like understand light and shadow, uh, all the, the volumes and how they, they work in the real world. But uh, as you just get around this you you, you really uh, see that the most important part is the story it's the soul of the thing you know hmm. exactly i mean there's a lot of people that do realistic drawings and i can see soul in it um and that's the thing but you can see a lot of realistic drawings too that they don't have any soul as well um yeah. that are out there. Like I said, I'm not to see anyone, I'm just, you know, um, <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. Um, yeah, so did you, were you self-taught? Yeah, kind of. Uh, as uh, I said before, I was into advertisement and I had to start in, uh, doing drawings, uh, like a, a side hustle. Mm. And, um, most of the time, it was really into uh, a self-taught uh, kind of do it yourself, you know, like, uh, oh, 
to draw, you just need to, to draw, you know? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know that you, you yeah, were fundamentals like uh, perspective, mm. anatomy, uh, light and shadow, textures, uh, you know, these art fundamentals that uh, nowadays are more like uh, easy to uh, uh, search for information. At the time, I just thought, you know, the more detailed, the more realistic, the better. <laughs> but I didn't know that uh, you could just play around with this kind of uh, fundamentals. Don't have to, uh, next, uh, like, uh, you don't have to really to do always uh, uh, realistic to be good. You can do a lot of things more stylized and uh, people will like it too, you know? Uh, so for some time, I I learned a lot about it uh, through comic artists, and uh, I started doing. I think no, before 2010, I started doing graffiti here, ah, yeah. street art. <laughs> you know, at the time I think Banksy and all these street yeah. artists really got uh, hyped. You know, had that move and everything. And here in Brazil, we had a lot of, uh, uh, took a lot of inspiration from these guys and had a lot of artists doing this. And so I really got into this and started doing a lot of, uh, a more, first, uh, first I was doing more like a wet based uh, paintings, you know. I draw and paint in, in the paper and then cut it and make all the glue and start and paste it in the streets. Uh, after that, I start doing things more like with uh, spray paint and uh, acrylic. Uh, in just because, you know, uh, uh, I thought if I want to be like a, an artist, and I before that I was doing a lot of things in the digital, like mm. Photoshop and Eclipse Student Paint. I thought, you know, real artists know how to paint in traditional media. I don't know why. <laughs> I put that in my head at the time. It's totally bullshit nowadays. <laughs> I think that uh, do whatever you want, paint in whatever media you want. It's not about the media. It's about uh, the process and the intention, you know. Uh, but at the time, I, I was really, you know, young, and I thought, you know, I, I will only be an artist if I can paint it using real paint. <laughs> mm. And this was actually something good for some time, because, you know, uh, I don't know if you uh, paint uh, more into traditional medias or di more into digitals. Yeah, I'm digital. These days, I'm just sure. Just, <laughs> yeah. yeah, no problem. Uh, but, you know, when you're doing things in digital, you have uh, unlimited uh, kind of, uh, how can I say? You have like a really powerful tool in, if you think about it. Because you have infinite paper, you have a mm. lot of, a box of crayons, infinite box of crayons, uh, all the colors that you might want and colors that are impossible in the real life sometimes. Mm. Uh, uh, and you also have Ctrl Z. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think that's the most, uh, uh, how can I say, uh, biggest superpower uh, yeah. digital artists have. <laughs> and when you start doing traditional media, you just get beaten up so fast mm. and, uh, when you just uh, have to figure out that you can go back and you don't have all the, uh, the brushes and paint that you need. You have to work in, in a really uh, short uh, kind of uh, equipment. equipment. And uh, this makes you more disciplined, I think. You know, mm. this makes you trust more into uh, a process, a technique. Like, uh, I really got into several. Uh, uh, kind of technique for these years. I started out like the classic, you know, you do a sketch with uh, a pen, uh, oh, you, do, you do a sketch with pencils, mm. then do more sketch uh, on top of that, and use some pen, then you 
starting, you know, uh, using some uh, markers on top of that. Uh, then I got into painting that is way more different. You know, you can overlap things. You can just, uh, you know, you make a, made a mistake. Okay, no problem. You paint over it, mm. the colors. So you can go around with things really, pretty uh, messy, you know. Like mm -hmm. uh, the last time I, I think I did something on the streets, I w used to make a sketch using chalk on the wall. After that, I put like block the colors, uh, and then I put the outline on top of that. You know, it's really I, how can I say? Uh, it's really messy, you know. You don't mm -hmm. have a a specific order, but at the same time, you have to know that uh, it's like layers in Photoshop, you know, but at the same time in your real life, so you can mask the order that you put the things because uh, you cannot waste the material, mm -hmm. so you have to be uh, more uh, straightforward on what you do. Uh, so, uh, getting back to the, the question, yeah, uh, I learned a lot. Uh, in this time, two other artists that were painting the streets. Uh, some of the methodology that people do in graffiti is really about speed because uh, most of the times the thing is uh, illegal, you know. <laughs> so you have to do it fast, and um, it's all about doing in uh, the fastest way as possible. But yeah. As you know, uh, I liked the thing and didn't want to do it at, uh, as a legal uh, activity. I, I wanted to really to take my time and make a composition and make develop uh, characters, not doing letters, you know, because it's the most, uh, uh, you know, normal thing to do in graffiti is doing, like we say, the throw up, the bombing, that is just text, you know, your name on the wall. Mm. And uh, how can I say, uh, I, I really like this kind of uh, aesthetic, but at the same time I know that uh, graffiti is really more about uh, like uh, internal, how can I say it? Uh, it's like a a really uh, close community, you know. Mm. Uh, people see your name in the streets, but the only people that will really understand are the people that do graffiti, mm. too, you know. Yeah. Uh, normal people that really not into this will look at that and say, oh, what the fuck? <laughs> like, what the fuck? That yeah. guy wrote, wrote that? <laughs> mm. And so this is something that we, uh, really... I did, uh, really don't like about it. I can respect that, but I, uh, it's not my kind of thing. I really wanted to do some art that was more, uh, uh, more, m more to the, the general people, you know? Everyone could look at that and understand. So I really not... I uh, was really not into letters, I really was more into characters. So what happened at the time, I was going around with some friends and they would do letters and they say, oh, hey Marcus, uh, why don't you do some characters on the side of the letters and something like that. <laughs> yeah, that got for so, some, some time and I tried a lot to make this kind of, uh, uh, how can I say it? The hard part about street art and graffiti is making this uh, professional because, you know, you see uh, every artist uh, doing that uh, murals and walls and they uh, they just don't uh, don't receive nothing to do that mm. you know, most of the times. If you're not it's like that festivals and uh, some big... Uh, if, but so what I have to do at the time was doing some work uh, for some companies and, uh, you know, uh, that were opening a new store or a new uh, place and they wanted someone to paint uh, something on the external walls or the internal walls to make like the... Uh, uh, Decoration, I mean, I don't know, 
I don't know if that's the right word again. Mm -hmm. But uh, just a minute. Yeah. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Whew. So as you can see. Hey, right back. <laughs> yeah. Okay, um, I'm back. <laughs> awesome. Yeah. <laughs> Right. Yeah, and so that was that's what uh, happened at the time. I had to do this kind of work for some time, and for some time it was pretty good. But the the hard part is really to advertise this kind of uh, stuff. Mm -hmm. You know, it's not that uh, easy. It's not everyone that wants to have like they are all uh, painted with something, a character, mm -hmm. anything, and so. As things really uh, changed here in Brazil in terms of the economy, uh, things got a, a bit bad, you know, and uh, I think the late five years, uh, the economy changed a, a bit because it changed our governments and a lot of stuff. And so what happened was really, uh, unfortunately, a lot of um, uh, companies and uh, uh, entrepreneurs uh, were really having to close their business, you know, mm. and so it really got uh, how can I say, really, uh, it really got uh, way more dry in terms of having jobs for me, you know, and yeah. so to me. Uh, um, at the time I got work uh, on an animation studio, mm. it was like 2016, I think, and I, and I was really uh, in a depressive uh, state at the time because of this situation. I, I really liked the paint and everything, but I, I really know that I could not uh, make a living with this anymore. And so I started working with animation, and I didn't know that animation got so bigger uh, in Brazil in the late years. And this got me, you know, really pumped to keep on digital art again, you know. I was really my second home to digital art after, like, uh, almost uh, five years or more without doing this uh, regularly. And from then, I, I just keep doing, you know. Uh, it was really hard on you know, the beginning because I didn't really know how to properly paint on Photoshop. Uh, mm. Mostly of the digital art I did before were vector uh, yeah. in Illustrator, you know. Yeah. And bitmap, bitmap art is really more, uh, really more, uh, how can I say it? It's not that it's really more harder, but it's a different logic. It's not like vector, you have like a vector points. Mm, yeah. yeah. But, <laughs> and a bitmap is like pixels. You have to understand that um, you have way more colors, way more detail to work, and this is, can become a bit overwhelming sometimes. So I really did some baby steps, start doing more like a cartoon uh, kind of uh, work in the beginning, till now that I'm more into 3D and more realism. And I, I think it was that, you know, uh, I think that, just getting back to the, the question again, yeah, uh, at the time I just know that I, I was how can I say, I was so self-taught and so into learning with other artists that I I know that I had to uh, got some proper education, art education, you know? Mm. And we don't, we don't have really art schools, good art schools at the time. Uh, you know, the art schools here, they teach you like the techniques, but they really are really not into teaching art fundamentals. And most of the teachers who work that you do, you see that, how can I say, they, they are not that 
good, you know, that mm. are not people that you would want to learn from. So what happened at the time is that I, I was uh, taking a look at other digital artists' uh, works and following them in so social media. And what happened was that they started dropping some some hints of their education, like, you know, this book is good, this class is really interesting. Uh, and so I started uh, collecting a lot of uh, this information and understood that uh, I didn't know anything. <laughs> mm. That I had to learn a lot, you know, that I had to understand the perspective, uh, anatomy, color, lighting shadow, and that this kind of knowledge was something that I would have to uh, go around for my whole life, not something that I would learn in one year or two. Yeah. Ah, awesome. Well, it's been um, Marcos Torres um, today. Uh, any else you should like to say well I don't know uh, I think that most people that might read uh, hear this uh, most of them might be you know beginners or intermediates and uh, I think that the most important thing that I could take of this whole journey, you know, is that uh, you just have to have fun, you know. I, 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 this might sound a bit, uh, you know, dumb to say, but, you know, I don't want people to waste time uh, instead of, you know, doing the real thing mm -hmm. that they want. But what I mean is just uh, sometimes you get too attached to, to having that kind of look, that kind of result. And we just uh, don't have, you know, don't appreciate the, the whole journey of learning and having different states, you know, like uh, I'm doing this for like 10 years now. And I, when I look back I to like uh, 10 years ago and all the arts I was doing there, sometimes I look at that and <laughs> start laughing, not because I, I'm trying to diss myself, but... Uh, because, you know, at the time I didn't know uh, a lot of things that I know now. And uh, that's okay, you know, that's not a problem. You don't have to know everything. You don't have to be the best of the best. And you don't have to try to emulate anyone, you know. Just try to do your stuff, have fun. Mm. Yeah, you gotta and, be the best you. You gotta learn, I mean. Yeah. yeah. And I had the same thing, you know, realizing that I actually don't know much at all, you know first going into course and things like that. Um, yeah, just yeah, realizing yeah, that there's still don't know. <laughs> so much more to learn and every day there's always like this little thing that I'm like, oh, you know, just pops in my head and, um, you know, I've got that to learn now, you know, um, how to paint in this perspective or how to, you know, do a certain lighting or, you know, things like that. Um, so yeah, that's been this video, so thanks for joining me. And um, thank to everyone for it checking this pleasure, video out. Yeah, awesome. <laughs> um, What's well, awesome? Sweet. So feel free to like, share, subscribe. Um, the link down below for you, uh, Marco's artwork if you'd like to see that. And yeah, we'll see you in the next video. Goodbye. <laughs> Goodbye.